So my friends, I wanted to give you a bit more clarity for not only yourselves, but myself on the direction of I went, where I want this channel to be moving in. You see, I don't think it's enough for me to quote some of the ancient scripture like Hinduism or even Judeo-Christian teachings, um, Eastern philosophy like Taoism, without it being relevant to the cultural climate, the, um, the most modern information that is taking you away from source, that is taking you away from uh, health and balance ultimately. So I need to figure out, not only for myself but for you as well, a kind of schedule, a kind of balance as it were, I'm always quoting balance, in how I'm going to best articulate how um, the world around us is manifesting itself to you and which portion of scripture or information or wisdom is going to be most, most resourceful in you moving forward. And I don't want to... I don't want to bring any dogma to this channel. I want to be very open. I, I think I'm very open anyway and the sources of information I present to you that hopefully is going to be resourceful for you moving forward. So I'm going to be calling on a, a different a, a arrangement of um, scripture, um, philosophy, psychology. If, if you're new to this channel, you'll actually learn that your health is a it stems from your belief system, so that's why I'm very heavy on religious connotations um, and prior on, on a level lower to that is psychological connotations. Um, I quote a lot from the likes of Jung and um, starting to go into dream analysis like Freud. And then you start to come into uh, the more uh, traditional ideas on how to best be healthy. You know? keeping physically fit, going to the gym, exercising, meditation for mental health. You can see again how that's starting to stem into some more esoteric ideas. But what I'm hoping is that I've just bought a new a new stand uh, from my desk and I want to kind of be commenting on some uh, newsworthy ideas and I'm going to have to develop my editing skills here. But I want to kind of show you where... Um, where behavioural patterns and belief systems get crooked, especially in contemporary media, and where they're taking you off a tangent in terms of your health, because like I kind of prefaced, your health stems from your belief systems all the way down. So as above, like your thoughts and your ideas, your beliefs, as above, so below, always. So if, you're, if you have a misalignment with your your mind how you're interpreting and navigating the world is going to have a big impact on your health on the the state of your your heart and your lungs and your your mental health especially um i coined the the um arrangement of your health as your emotional your physical and your mental well-being um, which i think encapsulates that nicely and again a little bit more um uh What's the word? Easier to understand, I guess you would say, is how you think, how you feel, how you do, and how you be in this world. This again really pertains to men. I recently changed my channel name to Masculine Theory because I believe it is appropriate considering we live in a, a world at the moment that is more effeminate and we are lacking that masculine bar balance. So I hope to present most of these ideas to young men who are interested in bringing that masculinity back to a world that needs it the most, that needs strength, that needs divinity, that needs righteousness, that needs generativity. And um, that's where I'm at at the moment. Again, it uh, primarily pertains to men. I, I do want to, I had a, a quote that I read this morning that I think kind of um, encapsulates my direction to aim this more at men uh, quite poetically, and it is that the lack of masculinity is toxic masculinity and I'm going to do a separate idea on that but um, I think you can kind of see my angle with that quote there and um, yeah I don't want to make this too long I don't want to waffle I feel like I've been ranting but hopefully you get an idea of maybe what this channel is more about the direction I'm planning on moving in my plans for the future and also this is kind of kind of helping me get my thoughts in order about where I want this to go 
and the impact I want it to have on you. I want it to be relevant, okay? I don't want to be citing um, the Bhagavad Gita for um, no reason whatsoever. I want th these these ancient wisdom, uh, these ancient teachings are so relevant right now. And I think, again, I don't want to be too religion heavy, but I really believe that if the if the world is uh, lacking any kind of masculinity, you have to look at where the source or where masculinity gets its power, and that is connection to other, that is connection to higher, that is connection to source, that is connection to God, and um, we have lost our connection to God, my friends, and we are going to rediscover that, we are going to develop it, we are going to cultivate it, we are going to grow it together here on this channel, so without me saying too much, I hope you're excited to... Um, delve into some pretty powerful stuff and prioritize your health and the health of uh, everyone because what you're going to realize my friends through this journey is that everyone is you and you are everyone and that you are merely the universe experiencing itself and if you subscribe to that my friends subscribe to me and um We've got a very, very beautiful journey ahead of us, my friends. I'll see you very soon.